Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about timers and TIA portal. Okay. So basically, for what timers are used and how they are used in this session, we will be seeing. Okay. So basically, timers are generally used to control the output as per the time. For example, if you if you want to provide a delay in turning on the output, or if you want to turn off the output after some time. Not, not instantaneously for example when you are pressing an on button then the output should turn on after a delay of suppose 10 seconds then the output will automatically turn on after 10 seconds only it will not turn on instantaneously similarly if you are turning off then if you want to provide delay in turning off then the output will not be turning off even if you press any stop push button or any off button then still the output will not be turning off instantaneously it will take some time and then after that com completing that time the output will be turning off so the time which it takes basically in case of timers it is known as preset time so basically it is a time which we need to set inside the timer which we will be taking in our software right so basically preset time is one of the terminologies which is used in the timers here okay and uh, we are also having elapsed time so how much time has been completed that has to be shown right so all these things are available in the timers which will be looking in the tia portal right so here if you observe the timers are used to control the on and off state of the output as per the time preset time so i already told you okay now the timers can either be used to turn on the output for a particular time or to turn off the output after a delay so obviously it will be it can also be used to turn on the output for a particular time suppose if you want to turn on the output for suppose 10 seconds and then we need to turn off it automatically so all these things can be done using timer itself okay so there are different types of timers available with their different functionalities that will be looking in the upcoming sessions right so here there are certain timers which will help us to provide off delay as well obviously the off t off timer is available okay so let us see what are the different types of timers available in tia portal right so before understanding what are the different types of timers let us understand what is data block right so here if you observe we are having data blocks so basically data blocks are used for storing the parameters of the timer so basically if you want to store how much time has been completed or if you want to store the on and off state of any timer then we will be using data block so each and whenever you are creating a data block TIA portal will automatic basically whenever you are taking a timer then TIA portal will automatically create one data block in which it will store the status of the timer whatever conditions are present in the timer all those things will be stored in the data block itself right now data block acts act as a memory for the timer obviously it is acting as a memory where it will store the on and off state of inputs and outputs as well as it will also store the time which has been completed right so each and every detail of the timer will be stored in its own data block so it also keeps the record how much time is left of so obviously i told you so each and every for each and every timer will be having individual data blocks so uh, it is a unique for each and every timer basically right so data block will be automatically that is instance data block will be created for each and every timer right now next one is here let us see what are the different types of timers available so the first one is the tp okay so generate pulse timer so basically it is used when uh, you want an output to be high for a particular time that we'll be seeing in the uh, se upcoming session right so here the next one is t on timer 
this timer is basically used to turn on the output after a delay so basically it is an on delay timer similarly t off it is a off delay timer it will provide an delay in turning off right similarly we are having a special case of t on timer so that is t o n r it is basically a return to timer how it is working that will be seeing in the upcoming sessions right